Okay. This morning I'm going to talk about something also very important. How to handle our negative thinking and emotions. Okay. Ya sigu ya leo tunenda kusunguzia neno la muhimu sana katika maisha yetu. Jinzi ya kuwa katika isia za kukataa kukata na isia za kupenda. Most people or almost actually I would say everyone have negative thinking and negative emotions. Kweli nataka kusema kwamba kila mmoja wetu ana ile wazo la kinyume ambapo yeye hakui na wazo ambalo ni nzuri. But more people are, some people are more controlled by it and some people are less controlled by by uh, the negative thinking and emotions. Watu wengi eh watu wengi wanaongozwa na kule kuwa na hali ya kujidharau na wengine wanaongozwa na hali ya kujipenda. Our thinking and our emotions affect us greatly. Ile hali ya kujidunisha ina inatufanya tunakuwa katika hali ya kutokuwa na ile afya nzuri. Okay, first I explain what are negative thinking. Ile hisia za kujikataa. Would be like oh I'm no use. Okay. Ni kule kujiona ya kwamba wewe hausahii hata vile ulivyo hapa haujioni kuwa wewe ni mmoja wetu. I will fail. This is Naona mimi nimeshindwa maisha. Hakuna kitu kizuri inaweza mtu hapo. Okay. Or nobody likes me. Hakuna mtu anayenipenda. Even if I do it is no use. Hata nikifanya vizuri watanidharau tu. It's too difficult. Ah, uh, ni ngumu sana. All these are negative thinking. Haya ni mambo unayofikiria yaliyo kinyume ya maisha yako. I use an illustration. Anatumia yaani ufafanuzi fulani. If someone doesn't like us, ikiwa mtu hakupendi, it's very easy for us to say nobody likes me. Ni rahisi sana ukifikiria mtu mmoja hakupendi unafikiria ulimwengu wote haukupendi. Whatever I do there is no use. Hata nikifanya chochote au mama wote amuita la nilitaria Mama ya kufiana ya kutamata la anu lola kudumundi ya kudumundi ya kudumundi ya kudumundi ya kudumundi Oh, I will preach the gospel and that person doesn't believe And then will say, well, it's no use to preach the gospel Okay, uneza ubiri nchili na unafikiria kwamba Haa watu wa wapokeyo nchili Nenu unashushu wa mwe unawana Sasa ni ajagani kubiri nchili Amba kwa ipokele yu na opingo Or we say, I'm too weak, I have not much education. Okay, when you know where to turn on your halieti, your maisha, your papa, you go and rush to it. All of you ah, me me see go and rush to it. So I'm too busy to enjoy it. All these are negative thinkings. Haya ni mambo ya kushusha, kushusha maisha ya kwa moyo wako na kiasi pia. And they will affect us. Na haya ya tatu du. Actually, it will affect us greatly. Ya na tatu du ruka pisa. And then negative emotions are our emotional response. Eh, hali yetu ya kinyume ya hisia, yani ya msisumuko ya 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 hali vile unavyoweza kuwasiliana na watu. For instance, negative emotions are like unhappy. Ah, hali ya hisia ambayo inakufanya hauwi na furaha. Depressed. Unasikia kuwa na hali, yani mawazo yako yani udumu ile ile hubra. Angry nakuwa na hasira despair nakuwa na hali yani uh, hauna tumaini now even when people do well it doesn't mean they will feel happy hata unapofanya vizuri unafikiria watu wa wata kuona kuwa umefanya kitu kizuri for instance if someone does very well uh, as a worship leader Eh, kwa mfano mwimbaji unaimba vizuri sana kama kiongozi he might say well someone else a leader worship better than i ah utaona kwamba mwenzako anaona anaimba vizuri kuliko or i'm not doing so well today ah sifanyi sifanyi leo vizuri and then they will feel unhappy na hivyo unashishwa moyo unakuwa na kule kuhusunika. And even for pastors, hata pia kwa wachungaji. When we say oh, my church doesn't grow much. Okay, au uh, unapo mchungaji anaposema kanisa waamini hawahusiki sana kwa mambo ya kanisa. And people don't listen to me. Na hata pia wachungaji naona ya kwamba unaposumuza kaya wapendwa ama washiriki hawakutii. The pastor may first of the thinking well, it's too difficult. 
mchungaji anaweza kuamua sasa kushishwa moyo na kuona ah hii kazi ya mchungaji inaonekana ni ngumu sana. Or people are not good. Na watu sio wazuri. And then they will feel unhappy. Na sasa hapo mchungaji unashishwa moyo. Yeah. I want you know on the first day I talk about how to live in the love of God. Eh, eh, mafundisho ya kwanza nilifundisha kuhusu jinsi ya kuishi katika upendo ama jinsi ya kuishi katika upendo wa Mungu. If we know from the Bible that God watches over us all the time. God watches with Mungu anatuangalia kila wakati. God remembers all the time. Mungu anatukumbuka kila wakati. God is happy with us whenever we come to him. Mungu anafurahi wakati tunakuwa mbele zake jinsi tulivyo hivi. Then we have all reasons to be happy. Na tuna sababu nyingi sana ya kufurahi tunapokuwa mbele za Mungu. But in a world people usually complain and criticize. Lakini katika hali ya ulimwengu ya kawaida ya kimwili utakuta mambo mengi ni kunungunika. Even when we do well in something they will say you haven't done well in other things. Hata ukifanya kitu kizuri watu watadharau ah ingekuwa mimi nimefanya ningefanya vizuri. So it's easy for people to believe in the words of the people in the world. It's easy. Easy to for us to be affected by the thinking okay. the words of the people of okay. the world. Okay, ni rahisi sana hisia zetu kutuhukumu kile ambacho watu wanawazia wewe kinyume. And it's hard for people to really believe God is happy with me when I follow him. Na ni ngumu sana watu kuamini ya kwamba Mungu anafurahia kile kitu unachokifanya. It's hard for people to say every day and say I can rejoice in the Lord because the Lord loves me. Na ni ngumu sana kwa watu kusema kusema ya kwamba ninaweza kufurahia mbele za Mungu na Mungu ananipenda. So what happens when people have negative thinking and emotions? Ile kila kinachofanyika wakati hisia zako ziko kinyume ya kuwaza mazuri. It's hard for them to have joy. Ni ngumu wewe kuwa na furaha. It's hard for them to have strength. Ni ngumu kwa wewe kuwa na nguvu. It's hard for them to enjoy life and enjoy serving. Na ni ngumu sana kufurahia maisha na kumtumikia Mungu. But if every day we are joyful, lakini tukiwa na furaha kila siku, we have more strength. Tunakuwa na nguvu. And we can enjoy life and enjoy serving. Tunaweza kufurahia maisha na pia tunaweza kufurahia kumtumikia Mungu. Proverbs 4:23. Eh 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 mithali ile 23 mithali ile 23 Above all else guard your heart for everything you do flows from it Eh kwa vyovyote vile iline moyo wako mbele za Mungu You can turn it to the people I don't I don't need it you can turn it to the people Okay now so it says here in this verse that above all thing else guard your heart <laughs> protect your hearts kwa mambo yote unayofanya yaline moyo wako because everything in our life flows from our hearts kwa sababu kila kitu kinachotendeka katika maisha yako ni lazima uwaze ndani ya moyo wako oh now it's too warm then make it slower I'm sorry make it slower and you can make it move also okay so if the heart is peaceful and happy then the person will be happy in what he does. Ikiwa moyo wako utakuwa na utulivu na uwe na furaha, basi kila watu watakuwa na furaha na sisi. But if the heart is full of anger and unhappiness, then he has no strength and then everything he does is not right. Lakini unapokuwa na ile hali ya kuteseka, kimawazo, kiakili, basi hata hivyo hauwezi kuwa na furaha na Mungu pia hafurahi. Let me ask you since this morning when you wake up until now is there anyone here who doesn't have any negative thinking or negative emotions for the whole morning are you full of joy and happiness and all positive all day is there anyone here who doesn't have any negative thinking and emotion here Okay I never will a subui lo bushi Usinyeshe ko uparoli paroli ibi Nombo ulisanda mapara malai na umbili kuko ulinda afya indai uchambele wa kumai mbele wa nyasai Nomba nyo ulurio obole Nomba nyo ulurio obole Nomba nyo ulurio obole Nomba nyo ulurio obole
Is anyone? Is anyone? Yes, anyone yes. Here? No. So now think about this last week. We have learned that God really loves us. To make it and it's not hard to please Him. Because when we fail, we ask God to forgive us, and God is very happy and He will forgive us. And then whenever we pray and love him and serve him, he's very happy. Do you remember this teaching from the first day? Yeah. Let me ask you this question. Since the first day, have you been happy every day? Have you been positive about yourself every day? What I'm saying is, during, during the day, are there times you just think negatively and have negative feelings? Anasema ya kwamba wakati wa mchana kama huu yale mawazo unawaza unawaza madeni unawaza kushindwa unawaza magonjwa na unakuwa na uzuni. Is it true that negative thinking and negative emotions seems to be able to attack us from time to time? Uh, anasema ya kwamba hii hali ya hisia kujikana kila wakati ndio inatokea katika mawazo yetu inatokea katika mawazo yetu na inatudhuru. Is it true? Ni kweli? So it's because of our sinful nature. As I said, we all have sinful thoughts. Actually, negative thinking is also they are also uh, sinful thoughts. While we are on earth. We will always have sinful thoughts and negative thinking coming to us from time to time. The point is, can we manage it? Can we take care of it right away when it comes up? As I talk about sinful thoughts, the point is we all have sinful thoughts. I have sinful thoughts too. But as soon as I am aware I have sinful thoughts, in me I say this is destructive. And I pray to God for forgiveness and strength. And I choose to reject the sin. And the same for negative thinking. Negative thoughts still come to me. But immediately I take care of it. But there are many people like this. There are many people like this. When they have negative thinking, for instance, they say, nobody likes me. I cannot do a good job. Then what happens is they stay in this negative thinking. For a long time they keep thinking, oh the people around me don't like me. Oh It's no use. So have you noticed this? When we have negative thinking, it's very easy to stay in it. It's very easy to stay in it. Okay. Okay. Well, to give an eye on my bias, it's very easy to stay in it. 
But I want to say that negative thinking are also garbage. Nataka kusema mawazo mabaya ile ni uchafu. I want to say after you. Nataka urudie bila nasema haya mawazo mabaya ni uchafu. Haya mawazo mabaya ni uchafu. So do you want to eat the garbage? Je, unataka kula uchafu? No, so you don't want to eat garbage, right? Kwa hiyo hautaki kula uchafu. These negative words can come from people or come from ourselves. The key to victory, we always say no to garbage strengthen ourselves with the promises of God. Na ujitie nguvu na nguvu za Mungu, ujipende mwenyewe. That God likes me. Uelewe kwamba Mungu anakupenda. God wants to bless me. Mungu anataka kunibariki. Whatever I do for God, God is very happy. Chochote ninachofanyia Mungu, Mungu anafuraha. I seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the sins will be added. Kafika ufano wa binguni na haki yake na kila kitu kitaongezeka katika maisha. Many Christians don't hold on to these promises. Wengi wetu hatushiki hizo ahadi za Mungu. But they hold on to the garbage from other people and from themselves. Na kitu mekatalia tu kwa maneno ambaye ya kukinyume peke yake ambaye ya natufunya moyo. So today I will talk about how to have victory over negative thinking and negative emotions. Leo nataku sumu kuwa na ule ushindi kuhusu kule kujikana na kujidharau ili upate kuwa na hisia ambazo ni nduru. First we realize how important positive thoughts are and how bad negative thoughts are. Eh kitu cha kwanza ni kuelewa vile hisia mbaya zilivyo na vile hisia nduri zilivyo. Okay Luke chapter 6 verse 45. Luka sita mstari wa arbaina tani. Luka sita mstari wa arbaina tani. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks. Kwa hivyo mawazo mazuri ya naleta mawazo niya nzuri. Na mawazo mabaya ya naleta mawazo niya mbaya. Kwa hivyo tuwe katika hali ya kuchilinda sisi wenyewe. So for a good man when he has goodness in his heart he has kindness and love in his heart. Kwa mtu mzuri uwe ni mama ama baba unapokuwa na mawazo mazuri sio ukule nyama na kuku mwili wako unakuwa na ile afya nzuri. Then he will speak good words. Na utaongea maneno mazuri ya kubariki. And then the problematic people we see around us Many of them for the whole day they are angry with people. They are unhappy about things they don't like. And they don't like people and they don't like themselves. So in the heart is all negative thinking. Katika mioyo yao wamejaa ile kujidharau ile kuwa na uwazo mbaya. And they expect people to be good to them. Lakini wanataka watu wawatendee mazuri kwa hao wenyewe. So as soon as anyone does anything wrong they get angry. Lakini mtu anapokosea tu kidogo huyo ndugu ama huyo mama atakupigia kelele ya ajabu sana. So when you look at this people, ukiangalia hao watu wanapoongea unaona vile ndugu wako anafanya It's always negative words. But then we look at the Christians around us. Many Christians are not aware of the negative thinking and emotions. Instead of eating the good promises from God, they eat garbage from people and themselves. Badala ya ku ya kuvuna mazuri ama ahadi nzuri za Mungu wanavuna uchafu. And so many Christians say, "Oh, I'm weak. I'm I'm no good." 
Sasa vile unavyokili na ulimi wako ukisema kwamba mimi ni mdhaifu mimi ni mnyonge mimi ni mgonjwa mimi ni maskini unavuna hivyo They also complain to God Pia wanalalamika mbele za Mungu They will say God you don't help me Wana maombi yako yanakuwa kulalamika kusema Mungu wewe haunioni na wewe Mungu haunisaidii So in the heart you see a lot, a lot of negative thoughts and emotions. Wao ndani ya moyo wake utaona hali iliyo kinyume ya kuwaza kinyume ya kuvunjika moyo. Have you seen Christians like that? De, naona mkristo wa aina hiyo. And let, let me ask you. Acha niulize swali. Are you like that too? Na wewe pia unafanana na hao. Very often we just stay in the negative things. They are often we stay in the okay. negative things. Kwa siku zingine utakuta ya kwamba tunakaa katika hali ambayo sio ya kuwa na ile hisia nzuri. So the key to this is that we let the goodness from God fill our hearts. Kwa hiyo usuri wa hii ama ufungo wa hii ni wewe mwenyewe kuwaza mbele za Mungu ili Mungu akuachilie ule usuri ule ule usuri wa amani kupitia kwa Roho Mtakatifu ujae ndani mwetu. So everything will say God is blessing me God is loving me. Kwa hivyo unapoamka unaanza kukiria kwamba Mungu ananibariki na Mungu ananipenda. And when I love God I pray to God God is very happy. Ah napompenda Mungu na nikiomba Mungu Mungu ako na furaha. You know some Christians even say this is not true. Unajua wakristo wengine wanasema hii si kweli. But is in the Bible lakini imenakiliwa katika Biblia. God truly is happy with anyone who comes to him with a sincere heart. Ukweli kwamba unapoenda kwa Mungu na moyo wako wote na akili yako yote na mawazo yako yote Mungu anakufurahia. Now for myself for the whole day I try to always remember these good things. Kwa maisha yake kila siku huwasia yale mazuri kuhumuhusu Mungu katika maisha yake and always love God and then I find the joy of the Lord fill my heart. Kwa hivyo kila siku anampenda Mungu na anapata ile furaha ya Mungu imemchaa katika moyo wake. When I find that I put down my burdens and just love God with a pure heart. Na anapompenda Mungu hivyo zile shida ambazo nazo zinamgumbatia anaziwachilia kuziwaza na anaendelea kumpenda Mungu. Especially when I speak in tongues. Sana sana anaposimumuza katika lugha ya nili. Anasaka haleluya haleluya. Haleluya haleluya. The joy will keep flowing. Anapoendelea kufanya hivyo na furaha inaendelea kuingia. So if you speak in tongues, unaposimumuza katika nili, put down the burdens. Wacha shida zako. When we speak in tongues, think of God. Don't just Na kuzunguka katika nili waza kuhusu Mungu. Don't just have a blank mind. Usiwe na mawazo ambayo yamefungwa. Think of loving God. Waza kumpenda Mungu. Or obeying God. Ama kumtii Mungu. Or asking God to bless the, the country. Ama umwambie muombe Mungu abariki nchi yetu ya Kenya. Na unaweka chini shida zako. And concentrate in God. Ah, na unaanza kuhimu. Unaangalia kwa Mungu yani mawazo yako na akili zako zote za kwa Bwana. Na unaenda kufurahia. If you worship with the spirit then the joy can flow continuously. Na unapo umwabudu Mungu katika roho sasa furaha inakuingia. Na if you don't speak in tongue yet na kama usimuuze katika nili you can say simple prayer like this naweza kusema maombi rahisi kama hii god is loving me ah mungu ananipenda god is blessing me mungu ananibariki and i love god na nampenda mungu and god is very happy that i love him oh mungu ako na furaha kwa sababu nampenda oh yes yes oh yes 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 hallelujah now when you Pray like this in a simple way to reach out to God. Ukifanya hili kwa njia rahisi kumfikia Mungu, Mungu anafurahi. Your heart will be filled with the good things of God all the time. Ah, moyo wako utajazwa na mambo mazuri ya kutoka kwa Mungu. So make sure that we have the good things and not the bad things from people or ourselves. Kwa hiyo tema sana umeoku kulihupa mama para mabi kuwezenye mama para malei. Hodo leo kuhema nyasai. As I said, I have negative thoughts too. 
vile pia amesema pia wasomaye huwa inatoka na limwani lakini anapowasia vibaya na anakumbuka kumwambia Mungu anapenda yale ninayoyafanya it doesn't matter if some people disobey God haijalishi kama watu wengine hawatamtii Mungu haleluya Proverbs 17:22 eh 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 a merry heart does good like medicine but a broken spirit tries the bones eh moyo ulio na furaha okay Yes. Okay. But the broken spirit tries the bones. The broken spirit tries the bones. Okay. Now, kule kuvunjika mifupa huwa kafu. So a heavy heart is like medicine. Kwa hivyo unapokuwa na furaha hiyo inakuwa ni dawa. Even when your body doesn't feel well. Hata kama hauchisikii vizuri when you are happy lakini ukiwa na furaha all your blood and nerve they all flow freely damu yako damu yako na misisi yako inatembea vizuri kwa mwili and your body will feel better na mwili wako utasikia mwili ukisikia vizuri so mwepesi so for a happy person you will stay happy longer kwa mtu ambaye anapenda furaha yeye ataishi maisha marefu. And his body is more healthy. Na mwili wake utakuwa na afya nzuri. And then Proverbs 12:18. Eh, mithali 12:18. Mithali 12:18. There is one who speaks like the piercings of a sword. Is one who speaks like like a sword that pierces okay. to cut into the heart. Kuna yule ina yani unapoongea hili neno lina mshale yani ni ni silaha. So there are people who talk and when they talk it's like a sword cut into people's hearts. Kwa hivyo hili neno la Mungu ni kama silaha ambayo linapoongea iko hai linakuchoma ile dhambi iliyo ndani mwako na unaanza kumchukia hata mchungaji. It could be some, from someone else. Naweza kuwa inatoka kwa mwingine. It could be from ourselves. Naweza kuwa inatoka ndani mwetu. Sometimes we we talk to ourselves like that. Sasa zingine tunajiongelesha hivyo. Nobody likes you. Hakuna mtu anayekupenda. No matter how good how well you do nobody likes it. Hata ukifanya kitu kizuri na mna gani hakuna atakaye kushukuru. And then people say, "Oh, we're so unhappy." Ana sasa utasema ah mimi sina furaha because nobody likes me kwa sababu laana kata polish wanja mabota It's a lot of times it's our thinking that we think that things are worse than they are Mara nyingi tunafikiria mambo ni mabaya sana vile yalivyo Okay so we see that merry happiness does a body good and negative words ジャムチャバリ。これはオナポワザミズリ、ナコカマダワ、ナオナポワザミバヤ、ナコアリワリビフ。エネスサウンド16、あ、ノ、アイムソリー。エネスサウンド19、verse14。14。19、verse14。オ
ya upendo wa Mungu so that we can rejoice all the days of our life ili tuwe na furaha katika maisha yetu ya hapa duniani that's the key to happiness hiyo ni ufunguo wa furaha always fill our heart with the goodness of god kila siku moyo wako na roho yako yajaze mambo mazuri yatakayokupa afya so that our whole all the days of our life will be happy ili siku zetu hapa duniani ziwe siku za kufurahia okay now i'm going to talk about how we do it so we talk from the bible the bible tells us to keep a happy heart and positive Okay. Sasa nataka kusumumuzia vile tunaweza kujilinda ili tuendelee kuwa na hii furaha. So how can we do it? Je, tutafanya namna gani? First, we need to remember all the promises as very as possible of God how he likes us and he blesses us. Okay, tunahitaji kuwa na ile kumbukumbu ya vipengele katika Biblia jinsi Mungu anavyotupenda. I have talked about some of this in this last few days. Nimekuwa nikifundisha hizo vipengele wakati tumekuwa tukijifundisha hizo siku zilizopita. And then when you read the Bible and you find any verses that promise the love and the blessings of God, then you remember it. Na pia unapoendelea katika nakili yako kuisoma ya Biblia, ukipata ile ahadi inayozungumzia yani kubariki Mungu apate kukubariki, unaendelea kuisoma na kuisoma na kurudia. And we keep those promises in the heart and continue to remind ourselves to believe that. Na tunaendelea kuyanakili yale katika mioyo yetu katika roho zetu kila wakati tukirudia ili tuwe na furaha. It's like Psalm 139 verse 5. You can write down. Kama Zaburi saa 39 mstari wa 5. That is says the Lord is in front of me and behind me and he is laying his hand upon me. Kwamba Bwana yuko pamoja nami na ameniwekelea mkono wake na hapo nyuma yangu amenizingira. So God is always around the Christians and he is blessing us by laying his hand upon us. Kwa hiyo unatakana ufahamu ya kwamba Mungu amekuzingira na mkono wake uko juu yako. We notice that when we have sinned God doesn't forsake us. He will move in our heart to repent. Kwa hivyo tuna tuna tunakumbuka hilo wakati unapotenda dhambi na unasikia sauti nyingine inakwambia tubu. Let me ask you, have you noticed when you sin, God will speak to our heart to move us to repent? Have you noticed this? Je, unaweza kumbuka ya kwamba tunapotenda dhambi, Roho wa Mungu anatukumbusha kutubu? So we notice that God doesn't forsake us when we sin. Kwa hiyo kile unataka uelewe na tuseme utende dhambi ni kwamba unapotenda dhambi Mungu hakuachilia haraka. And very often we reject God even though we are Christians sometimes say God I don't want to do this I don't want to do that. Na hata hivyo unakuwa sasa kinyume cha Mungu unamwambia Mungu mimi sitaki kufanya hii sitaki kufanya hii na sitaki kufanya hii. Always say I don't want to pray I don't want to read the Bible. Unaambia unaambia Mungu mimi sitaki kuomba na sitaki kusoma Biblia. Or even they will say God leave me alone now. Hata wengine wetu wanasema sasa Mungu sitaki uwe karibu na mimi niwache niwe peke yangu. Let me ask you how many times have you said those words to God? Nataka kuuliza swali je ushawahi kuomba hivyo ama kuambia Mungu hivyo? If you talk to someone and say I don't want to see you I don't want to see you leave me if you say 10 times will they still come to you? Je, ukimwambia Mungu uh, ukiambia mwenzako sikutaki hapa wewe sikutaki kukuona wewe sikutaki kukuona na umwambie mara kumi unafikiria huyo mtu atasema karibu na wewe? Do they still come to you? No. Watakuja? No. Watakuja. But we have spoken to God in negative ways many many times thousands and tens of thousands of times. Okay. Tumesumuza kinyume cha Mungu tukidharau tukikimbia Mungu mara ma kumi na zaidi. In Chinese we have this expression I don't know if you would, uh, would have the same meaning that people who are not shameful we say that he has a thick skin on the face you know a thick skin so he doesn't feel shameful do you have this idea in in your language yeah, yeah. no okay wow yeah mundu mahama paris yes So you know if someone you know you say I don't like you I don't want you and they still 
come after you, then you say you have thick skin on your face. Okay, no car, no mundo mole, tawa in the town, let away in the tanieta, no hola or no como tiusane. And I want to use it to describe God in a positive way. Every Christian has rejected God many, many times, thousands of times, tens of thousands of times. But God has thick skin on his face. He doesn't mind. He just keep coming to us. Isn't God wonderful? Yes. Uh, I use a story like a you know, you think of a very beautiful girl. And then the guys come to her and say, I like you, I love you. And then the girl says, But I don't love you. <laughs> <laughs> but then these people really want a girl, they keep coming to her, even though she said, I don't want to see you, I don't want to see you. So so we say that this guy has thick skin on the face. But they have thick skin on the face because they want to gain this girl. But for God, he has thick skin on his face because he just wants to bless us. He, he keeps coming to us and saying, I love you, I care about you, you can feel happy. And God tells us, when you pray, I'm happy with you. When you give a cup of cold water for me, I'm happy with you. But people keep rejecting God. Don't, they don't think of these promises of God. These promises are very wonderful. Uh, now, if someone who is very good comes to you and says, I want to marry you, I want to help you, I want to bless you, you say, well, I, I hold on to your promises. Yes. But God's promises are much more powerful than the rich man's promises. Can we remember the promises of God? He's around me, he's laying his head upon me. Church, now is a kukumbuka, a hat is a guana, a mother's with his gira, a sick of homogenous. And even if a mother forgets the baby, God will not forget us. And nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. That's Romans chapter 8. And also God has given us His beloved Son, so He will also give us all things together with Jesus Christ. That's also Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8 has many verses about the love of God. And first Corinthians also said that you know God has prepared for us what eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, and the human mind have not thought of. 
kuna vile vitu vya siri ambavyo macho yetu hayajawahi kuona ambapo Mungu ametupangia katika maisha yetu ili tupate kupokea so in order to be positive the first thing is remember and hold on to the promises of god na ili upate kuwa katika hali ambayo ni ya kufurahi ama kufurahia maisha yako ni lazima uwe na mawazo mazuri and apply these verses to ourselves na uh, weka haya uh, haya mawazo mazuri katika matendo so when we come to him he will come to me na kumwelea Mungu naye Mungu atakuja karibu nasi. When I give a cup of corn, what does the someone here reward me? Ninapopatia mtu kikombe cha maji tu, Mungu naye atanibariki. When we have this all these promises from God, then our heart will be more filled with joy. Tunapokuwa na hii hadi sote kutoka kwa Mungu, Mungu pia anafurahia. And the next thing we need to do is to clear the garbage from our hearts. Na kile kitu ambacho tunataka na tufanye kabisa ni kutubu na kutoa uchafu katika maisha yetu. Sometimes we have negative thoughts in our heart all the time. Mara nyingi utakuta kwamba mawazo yako yako kinyume katika moyo wako, yani uko kinyume ya maisha yako. Like something was say I'm ugly. Eh wengine wetu utakapoangalia sura yako unasema hii sura si yangu hii sura ni mbaya sana and nobody likes me ah kuna anayenipenda i cannot do things well sasa hata siwezi kufanya vitu vizuri so sometimes we have this thoughts very deep in our hearts hii hisia haya mawazo yanakuwa ndani mwetu kabisa katika damu na katika mawazo na mifupa na nyama mpaka yanatukula because the people around us may say these things to us kwa sababu watu walio karibu nasi atakusumuzia neno la kudharau masai say i don't like you watakwambia wewe usikupende this is fear for me toka karibu na mimi so if we have heard this word from people ikiwa tumesikia haya mambo kutoka watu imini we will replace it with the promises of god hapo tuta tutawache yale mawazo na ulete mawazo mazuri ya ahadi itokayo kwa Mungu when my even the, in the bible says even when my parents forsake me the lord will be with me atakao wazazi wangu watanikataa lakini Mungu hawezi kunikataa so whatever people say to me that's negative I'm still precious and important. Eh, uh, chochote ambacho mtu atakuwa anasunguza kinyume changu, hakika ni dhuru kwa sababu Mungu ananiwazia vizuri. And then if we have this positive thoughts every day, we'll have more joy in our hearts. Na tukiwa tutakuwa na uwazo mzuri katika hali yetu ya kimaisha, itakuwa ni afya na pia tutakuwa na furaha na okay. afya nzuri. And I'm going to tell you a theory of it's called ABC theory on emotional management emotion management kwa hiyo kuna hali ya hisia ya misisimko okay a will be something that happened a activated a, events ni kitu ambacho kimefanyika b is our belief ha ni kule kuamini c is the consequence sa ni matokeo okay so something happened that's a kitu kikifanyika hiyo ni a and the belief will decide how the person will feel na kuamini kutaamua vile wewe unavyojisikiliza okay now we think of two persons and Tuna. they are both christians and they are both very old and they are both have having sickness now two old person oh okay. tuko na watu ambao wana umri ume, yani wamekomatu umri ni wazee na hao watu wawili ni ni wagonjwa lakini kuna mkristo na mtu wa dunia when these christians have beliefs from the bible how a christo akiwa na imani katika biblia i serve god and i love god and god likes me nimemtumikia mungu na mungu ananipenda na mungu ananifurahia i'm getting old now and i'm sick also nimekuwa mzee na tena mimi ni mgonjwa but i'll see jesus soon lakini nitamuona Yesu hivi karibuni. It doesn't matter if I die. Haijalishi hata nikifa. If I pray to God and God takes away my sickness, thank God. Hey, ikiwa nitaomba na Mungu aniondolee haya magonjwa, nitamshukuru. If God does take away my sickness and then I'll die, it's okay too. Na pia hata kama Mungu hayawezi kuniondolea haya magonjwa na Mungu achukue maisha yangu pia nitafurahia kwa sababu sababu utukufu mwenyewe. Yes, 
This other question. Hiyo swali. He has negative thinking. Ana wazo kinyume. He said I have served God for so long and now God let me have sickness. Nimetumekea Mungu kwa muda mrefu lakini sasa niko na ugonjwa. And God really doesn't like me. Na Mungu hanipendi. All I've done is in vain. Yaani yote nimefanya ni hasara. And now I'm suffering with sickness. Na nateseka na magonjwa. I have no hope. Na sina tumaini. Na both of these are all Christians who have sickness. Wa Kristo ambao wana magonjwa. But this Christian have positive thoughts and he will be more happy. Lakini huyu Mkristo mwingine ambaye ataona magonjwa na kuyaona sio shida kwake atakuwa na ile furaha. But this Christian has negative thinking as he said God is like me. All day long he is frowning, he is crying. Lakini huyu Mkristo ambaye anaendelea kuona magonjwa ni sababu ya kumkasirisha anaishi maisha ya kuhuzunika. So I want to say our thinking affects our feeling. Bwana Yesu sema lile unawaza katika moyo wako inakudhuru maisha yako. Atakuoneka. Okay, then you are. Now, please ask questions related to talk what we talk about. Talk. Hebu uliza swali linalolingana na mafundisho ambayo tumefundishwa. Okay. Kwa huru. So, so, so. Kwa huru. 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 Kwa Tunaomba tuamke wote sasa. And think of the negative thinking and emotions in our hearts. Fikiria jinsi mambo ya udhaifu yanakupana na wewe na yanakumbana na akili zako na unashtukia umeyatenda. If some people here are thinking my life has no purpose. Ana kama kuna watu wanafikiria kwamba maisha yangu wakati huu sasa yamekosa malengo. We will place it with the promise of God. Tunaibadilisha na ahali za Mungu. That God is a wonderful plan in our life. Kwa Mungu ana mpango mzuri kwa maisha yako. So any areas that we have problem. Katika sehemu yote ambapo kuna shida. We bring it to God. Tunaileta kwa Mungu to change the way we think and the way we feel. If every day we have been unhappy, we think of the promises of God and we pray that the promises of God will be fulfilled in our lives. Now, if you have any questions at all, and bring our negative thinking and emotions to God. Lord, we have been affected by this negative thinking and negative emotions. Please forgive our sins. Please help us to realize this Negative thinking and emotions are sin. Kwamba udhaifu wetu umegeuka kuwa ni dhambi. And they can destroy our life. Na inaweza kuharibu maisha yetu. And I want to choose to believe in Jesus. Nataka kuamua kuamini kwa Yesu. Jesus loves me now. Yesu ananipenda sasa. Okay, tell them to repeat after you now what I'm going to declare. Tell them to repeat after you. Kuna haya mambo ambayo mtarudia nyuma yangu. God loves me now. Mungu ananipenda sasa. God has a wonderful plan in my life. Mungu ana mpango mzuri kwa maisha yangu. God wants to do great things in my life. Mungu anataka kufanya vitu vikubwa kwa maisha yangu. When I repent, God is very happy to forgive me. Ninapotubu, Mungu anafuraha. When I pray to Jesus, God is very happy. Mina kumba kwa Yesu Mungu anafraia. Mina kumba kwa Yesu Mungu anafraia. When I serve God sincerely, God is very happy. Mina kudumu kwa wazi Mungu anafraia. Mina kudumu kwa wazi Mungu anafraia. It is not hard to please God. 
Si ngumu kumpendeza Mungu. I can rejoice in the Lord. Naweza kufurahi katika Bwana. Naweza kufurahi katika Bwana. Because God likes me. Kwa sababu Mungu amenipenda. I can rejoice in the Lord. Naweza kufurahi katika Bwana. Because I hope in Jesus. Sababu ninatumaini kwa Yesu. Sababu ninatumaini kwa Yesu. I can put down my negative thinking now. Naweza kuweka chini udhaifu wangu. Naweza kuweka chini udhaifu wangu. I can put down my sadness now. Naweza kuweka chini mawazo yangu mabaya. Naweza kuweka chini mawazo yangu mabaya. I can put down my anger now. Naweza kuweka chini hasira yangu. I can put down the thought that I'm useless. Naweza kuweka chini mawazo kwamba sifai. I can think of the promises of God. Naweza kufikiria ahadi za Mungu. Naweza kufikiria ahadi. And rejoice in the Lord. Na kufurahi katika Bwana. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. I can rejoice in the Lord. Naweza kufurahi katika Bwana. I can relax in the Lord. Naweza kuwa huru kwa Bwana. I can enjoy God. Naweza kufurahi kwa Bwana. Every day I can be happy. Kila siku naweza kuwa na furaha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you Jesus. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. 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 Na imani kila siku utakuwa unatawala mawazo ambayo walikuwa na kufinyilia siku. Na uamwe kuwa na raha katika buwana. Tangu tuwaza kufundisha, kuna mtu yote sasa anaisi kwamba hana furaha tena katika kazi ya mungu na kudumu. You can come out and ask me if you find it is hard to overcome the sadness. Kama pigili mekuwa ni mungu sana mabuhaya kubadilika, unaheza kunikunzia alafu zimidiani katika uruma hii. Okay, God bless you. Mungu awabaliki. Mungu awabaliki.